Hi, I'm John Ackleton, Boating New Zealand. We're here on Lake Karapiro with the new Super Nautique 23. It's on a custom-built enduro trailer with a Balex auto loading system, the very first in New Zealand. The trailer is really quite trick. It's got a, a new roller system. It's not a totally a bunk trailer as you'd expect with this style of boat. Uh, the Balex auto loading system, it's, uh, it's unique. It's made here in New Zealand. It's really making some waves. Uh, trailer manufacturers, boat manufacturers are fitting it all over the country and there's a very good chance that pretty soon they're going to be fitting it all over the world. So let me introduce Andrew Frank from Enduro Trailers. He's going to talk a little bit about this rather special trailer. The beauty of this trailer is, is uh, it gives the um, operator the chance of keeping his tow vehicle out of the water without having to submerge. Traditionally this style of boat runs on a bunker trailer which relies on the boat gaining buoyancy to lift it off the bunkers before it will move and slide or float. Uh, the casualty there is in New Zealand where we're obviously with a lot of saltwater boating, it means that the trailer's getting a hard life as is the tow vehicle and the launching and retrieving process is just made so much easier by the Balex enabling seamless launch and retrieval. And of course at any point in time you're able to stop the Balex so that you can retain ownership of the boat while you start the boat um, before you take off. Yeah, and literally it's that simple. We're going to go out on the lake today, we're going to try a little bit of wakeboarding, we're going to try some surfing. It's a lovely, lovely day, lovely boat, looking forward to it. And so our wakeboarder and surfer today is Josh Plore. Uh, he's a local and he's pretty darn good. So this is Mike from Nautique Boats. He knows everything there is to know about this particular vessel. Okay, so in the Nautique G23, here's some cool features of what we have. So the screen is actually a touch screen, but it's also driven and can be driven by what we here we call the encoder, which is a scroll type system. So in the Nautique G23, we've got three ballast tanks. We've got the belly tank, the port tank, and the rear locker, and the starboard tank also. So a Nautique G23 holds 1,350 kilos of ballast, all that ballast is under floor, so you don't compromise any of your uh, storage space in any of the lockers. New this year is we've got a function called ballast shift. So when you're riding and the boat's uneven, you can simply move weight from one side of the boat to the other to level out the boat to essentially get the best out of the wake, simply by the push of a button on the screen here. So you can specify how much weight to change from each side with the ballast shift panel right here. This screen is also new for 2017 in the G-Series boats and the new GS20 model. And what they've done is they've created a wider screen as opposed to last year, so everything is right in front of you all the time. Also, we've got a new um, awareness camera, we call it. With this, we've got a bird's eye view, so you can actually see boats behind you approaching boats. It's a very wide span camera. The surf system is called NSS, which stands for Nautique Surf System. We've got three plates on each corner of the boat. Our system is the only system that's actually integrated into the hull of the boat. So it's actually shaped with the rear shape of the boat. Also, rather than just having a plate that comes out to the side or down like other brands, which are held by a hydraulic ram, with the Nautique Surf System, the hydraulic ram is simply moving the plate out and back in. So there's no hard wear on the hydraulic ram. We've got another system called the NCRS, NCRS, which is the Nautique control running surface. And that also, that acts as a plate on the back of the boat. And what that helps to do is uh, change the length of the wake for wake boing and the length of the wave for wake surfing. So you can see on here, we've got um, the NSS setting with a plus and a minus on either side, which we can alter as we go, as well as the NCRS setting, which we can change as we go as well to customize the surf wave or the wakeboard wake. You've got surf side. So you've got left foot forward and right foot forward riders. Go back a few seasons and change the side of the boat you want to surf on. You had to empty the ballast out one side and fill the other, which is time consuming. Whereas now, with the push of a button, we can simply transform the wave from port side to starboard side or vice versa. With our link screen, what we also have is we've got a user menu. And so in here you can see there's a whole lot of presets for uh, what discipline you're wanting to do next. So as you can see, we want to change from surfing to wakeboarding. So we can go down to Wake Pro. And you can see here on the top is the preset. So it's going to show all the ballast 100% full. Um, and it's also going to fill all the ballast and it's changed everything with one push of a button. It's changed the speed, 
Uh, it's brought the serve system in and altered the ballast to go a wakeboard pro mode. Rear seating, so you, again, you've got storage under here. What's cool about the storage area here is it actually carries right through into the rear locker of the boat. So when we open that rear locker, if you have uh, water skis or anything like that, that storage carries on right through. Some boats with storage compartments, you can't actually fit a surfboard in them as such. So you'll see in there, we actually have two wake surfboards actually stowed away in the port side locker of the boat. What we have here, rather than throwing all the ropes in the, on the floor and getting a uh, big bird's nest of knots and everything like that, you can actually hang your ropes on these boards so you, your ropes aren't actually going to get all tangled up on the floor. So much thought's gone into actually the stowage of the equipment also. Just while we're here, you'll see there's a step from the walkthrough of the boat down into the cockpit of the boat. What they've done on this bench seat is they've actually incorporated that, uh, that step, which is great. So again, I step on down through there and not on the upholstery. We'll have a quick look at the engine while we're here. There's our engine compartment. As you can see, there's plenty of room in there for um, maintenance and servicing. And what's unique about this particular boat is this is the first supercharged Nautique ever to hit New Zealand, which has been in New Zealand for about three weeks now. So um, this engine is 550 horsepower, a 6.2 litre. In the boating industry, you have wet boats and you have dry boats. This is what we call a dry boat. And here's a perfect example in the engine compartment. Everything is run with channels right throughout the boat. Water is always channeled down into the bilge of the boat. So it's never dripping on your ski gear or wakeboard gear or dripping into your engine or anything like that. Again, I believe you'll notice the same thing in the glove box of the boat. Nothing is draining anywhere except into the bilge of the boat, including the cup holders. Um, also on the back of the boat here, well, I'll show you back on the back here. So you can see there we have um, an ice box as such there as well. Also with a bung that we can drain into the bilge at the end of the day. An important part of water skiing and wakeboarding, uh, wake surfing, is everyone's out to enjoy the action. And so what's really cool is as much rear facing seating as possible as important in a boat. See in the cockpit of the boat, we've got this removable seat here. This seat here, so obviously if you're out with a whole lot of people and you need this arena, arena uh, style seating, you've got a full bench seat throughout the boat. Now what's great, this seat actually folds up and acts as another rear facing seat. And what's so unique about that is you've got a full uh, footwell in here for the passenger sitting in this seat. And the reason that Nautique are able to accomplish this, as well as um, having a lower dash, is because we have what we call a one-piece deck on this boat. So that's what's unique about Nautique, being a one-piece deck mould, including the floor and everything like that, is how we can accomplish this type of setup. So from this point here, if you have some more mates out that day, this seat actually folds out, and again, you have more re rear-facing seating. How cool is that? So straight away, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, and potentially seven rear-facing passengers. These racks, uh, wakeboard and surf racks, are new for this year, and they're equipped to take your wakeboards and your wake surfers, so you're not actually um, clustering up the boat as such, so that everything gets stowed in the racks, which is really cool. Okay, so obviously the retrieval process is made a whole lot easier, A, because the trailer's not as deep in the water, but also because once again, either the helmsman can have the fob remote to bring the boat onto the trailer when he's ready. The idea being nobody's going to have to walk down the middle of the trailer and risk sliding off and falling and hurting themselves, making boating easier and more enjoyable. Well, we've just come back in, and I have to say, I haven't had a lot of time in this style of boat, but look, that was a pretty pleasant way to spend a day. Uh, an awful lot of fun. This is a, a very impressive bit of kit. It's uh, as luxurious as you like. It's comfortable, it's fast, but more to the point, it is perfect for this type of boating.
John Ankelsone from Boating New Zealand. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel.